Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing the Q&A question since YouTube doesn't allow me to do the live streams anymore until I get a thousand subscribers which is going to be an eternity by the looks of it. <laughs> I mean really. <laughs> um, I'm doing this Q&A and it just took me like a hot minute just to find all these questions on my Facebook page. So Yes, with that said, let's get started. It's been it's been one of those weekends. It's kind of like I'm getting so frustrated and so bummed about just not gaining subscribers. And if I hear it's a fucking marathon and it's not a sprint one more time, I swear to fucking God. I swear to fucking God. Like, I don't want to hear that. Like, I get it. 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 <laughs> um, uh, so we don't need to drill that in every time I make a comment about YouTube. But seriously, um, <laughs> and not having subscribers and people not watching. So, you know, yesterday I was planning on shooting some videos, but I was like, you know what? I, I need to, like let the videos that I have kind of like be out there and not be a clusterfuck of all these videos coming out and then everybody's kind of like, well, which one do I watch next or not? And then they don't watch them at all. And I'm noticing that uh, the videos, if I do shoot maybe two or three in a day, uh, the videos don't get as many views. So I'm just kind of letting it lax. And then, and then also I'm testing to see if like the 3 a.m. challenges, if that's something you guys want to see and not really getting a lot of views and I'm kind of like this has been a weekend of kind of down in the dumps and depressed and I'm like you know what more people tune into my Facebook page than they do to my YouTube channel and as I stated before I think I'm going to close down temporary disable my Facebook but I just need to move my pages like my uh, Enchanted Witch page and stuff over to like Phoenix's page so that really I'm disassociating and if people want to contact me you gotta come to my YouTube channel and that way I'm not accidentally deleting people because like I said I've got like 730, 740, 750 uh, followers or friends as they call it on my Facebook page but only 140 some in my group that legitly said I'm on your YouTube channel so I'm kind of like how come the rest of you can't subscribe? Like, what is so difficult? You're following me on Facebook. If you truly have an interest in me, why not freaking, like, come subscribe to my channel? Like, I, I don't get that. Because I'm not posting on my regular page anymore unless I'm advertising a video. Like, <laughs> y'all are, like, there for nothing. So if anybody does see this that's on my regular Facebook page, you're there for nothing. You can look at all the past pictures, but you're not going to see anything new. Like, I keep it private now. It has to be in that special group. Like, I really disassociating myself from people who are not subscribed. And ideally, I, I want to shut down the Facebook and just have my Instagram going and my Twitter. And a lot of people don't have Instagram. I didn't have Instagram, but I got Instagram. So, you know, welcome to the new era, to the new time, right? You know, and it's so much better, like just so much better than just, you know, Facebook with all the crap and the people and you just have to like, and you're unfriending and it's just so much hate and just bullshit on Facebook. It's just, I'm so tired of it. I'm just so tired of it. And like I said, people will come on, but they won't come on to my channel, which really infuriates me. It actually pisses me off really bad. But enough of that I'm like been in one of those moods all weekend where I'm just like I don't want to shoot shit I'm just so freaking done you know because things are not happening as I projected I mean it's like I get like one or two people and then all of a sudden the people just they go away and I'm like okay <laughs> what is up with that what is up with that so first question from Tim O'Donnell says would you consider taking a slightly older fan who absolutely adores you as your significant other and loyal servant. <laughs> well, I, I did have a slightly older boyfriend of like 20 years older, so he was like, he's in his 60s now, <laughs> for the longest time. Um, and, you know, I, I can't, I can't, I, I'm single because I can't afford a man, okay? Like, I can't afford to be in a relationship. Men are too expensive, so... 
Um, would I consider a slightly older fan? I, you know, when I get money, then I can pay for dates and stuff. Yeah, because that's what I'm used to. All right, so Phil the, Phil the Pover says, are you coming to Minnesota so we can have a supper? Well, that depends on if I shoot something, then I'll randomly go to Minnesota. Like if I book a film or something, then of course, yes, I'd be in Minnesota in a heartbeat. So if I do come to Minnesota, I'm going to hold you to that, Phil. All righty. <laughs> Denver Glo Glower. Glo Glower. Glower. Did you or your co-star come close to or accidentally get burned by burners in the kitchen scene in the bag man? No, because there was no fire on the stove when we were actually shooting the scene. We do insert shots. So, and there was no um, nakedness. He actually had his shorts on underneath the jeans. And then we just shoot the angle or the shot of the jeans coming down. And it was the DP who pulled the pants down. And then the, or not DP, but the PA did the pants pulling down as we just shot that. And then you intercut it with on the stove and intercut it with the flames. And it looks like it's actually burning, but it's not. <laughs> so yes, power of mu movie magic, right? <laughs> and Jason Atkinson, what was your first concert you been to? Tone Loke and Stevie B in like 19... I want to say 89, 90. I think I was in high school and it was uh, tickets that me and my friend Jay won on uh, Q105 <laughs> at the Ventura Fairgrounds for Tone Loke and Stevie B. All right, Todd Sessions. What movie role was your favorite and why? You know, I did not look at any of these questions before and really study or analyze them. What was my favorite movie role? I want to say I did enjoy doing The Evil Maker, but uh, because it was a good script and it was fun to do that character, you know, and it was, um, you know, she was like the normal girl and then she became the killer and all this. The end result of the, the footage and the film didn't portray what the actual script and my dress is coming up. <laughs> what the actual script um, was written, if that makes any sense. So the again, the the script was was one way, and then when we shot it, I don't know if it was the editing or because everything was shot in the script, so it's got to be like the end. Like the end result wasn't what I thought it was going to be, but in but in filming. I really enjoyed doing. Um, I really enjoyed doing the Evil Maker, and I I enjoyed doing the Crawling Brain. I wish I would have had more uh, scenes in that movie. That would have been really super awesome. Doug Sanquinetti. I hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> if you could work in a film with any horror actor or actress who is no longer with us, who would it be? Oh Jesus God! Since I'm not like a super nut of like old time films like uh uh I guess Lon Chaney <laughs> I don't know if I'm just saying that because I don't know uh Vincent Price who I actually would have been cool to be in some of his flicks um Tim O'Donnell will your podcast be a tequila party fest or Cinco de Mayo well I've never done a podcast so I'm not doing a podcast. I'm doing this video. Um, <laughs> and then Tequila Fest or Cinco de Mayo. You know, I went to the store this morning and I bought some stuff to make some tacos to do like a, like a cooking video. And I opened up my taco box and I think I have legitly out of 12, two shells that are usable. <laughs> so... Out of those two shells, I think I'll make a taco video, a vegetarian taco. I was going to go to Taco Bell and just get tacos, which that's what I'm craving. So sometimes homemade tacos aren't like the best tacos, you know, unless you have somebody. I've only met one person that actually knew how to cook, and his name was Emmanuel, and he made some kick-ass freaking tacos, um, Emmanuel Bill. And, uh, yeah, the rest, everybody else who's trying to make tacos just totally sucks. I'm sorry. <laughs> But, and I'm sure mine suck as well. So I'm not doing uh, meat tacos because I feel like I, it, I would have to make them like the way Bill and Emmanuel made them, which was absolutely delicious. So I'm going to make vegetarian tacos. And it's probably going to suck, <laughs> but it's okay. Buck Eugene naked, top or bottom, bunk beds, of course. No, I don't like bunk beds. 
So no go. No go on a bunk bed. Uh, James, Grace, and Kelly. Besides horror and ghosts and such, what other kinds of entertainment do you enjoy? <laughs> if I may ask more than one question. Okay, so let me get to the first question. What other kind of entertainment do I enjoy? I like hosting parties at my house when I had a place that I could actually host parties and have friends over and just really be surrounded by good people and good times. Just like be surrounded by good people and good times and friends. That that I do like. I like to actually be around people than alone time, if that makes sense. And some I've been finding that I've been like more alone time, especially living where I'm living now out, you know, Redondo area. I'm kind of out of the, you know, area for people and people can't seem to drive to come see me you know they want me to go drive always to see them and that's fine but one simple moon you could get your happy ass over here so yeah i'm just saying <laughs> i probably shouldn't be answering these questions on like a weekend where i'm pissed off about not getting subscribers <clears throat> okay uh, okay another question favorite band or music genre uh Favorite band or music genre? Okay, so I'm not a person that really knows bands. I just know songs. Um, and I'm not going to sing any because I've been told I'm a horrific singer. So I'm not going to sing any tunes. And I can't. It's YouTube. <laughs> if you sing like one lyric, it's, it's over. <laughs> it's copyright strike. So I can't do, I can't even do a sentence. <laughs> so let's see. I like all types of music, to be honest with you. Um, I like alternative. I like rock and roll. I like rap. I like hip hop. I like um, um, country. It depends on the. It depends on the artist. You know, I I'm not opposed to going to a shit kicking bar. <laughs> really, like shit stompers, but. You're never going to catch me playing freaking country on my radio <laughs> at all. But I am not opposed to go to any concert or whatever. You only go around this merry ground once. And, you know, why be closed-minded to types of music? Um, yeah, so I, I like salsa-type music and... You know, I like techno. I like house and techno. I like all kinds of music. I really do. You know, I, I really do. I mean, there's there's moments where certain musics drive me nuts. And then there's other moments where I'm just like, okay, I, I can dig this. I can dig this. I'm, I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> so, yeah. So, there's that one. Um, what is my favorite food? A lot of people probably think Mexican, but I make Mexican white style. Like, seriously. Like, I'm not, like, hugely big on Mexican food. Um, like, I like flour. I don't like corn. You know, I'll make my enchiladas, you know, a certain way. Um, I don't like traditional enchiladas with the, with the um, you know, the heavy, like, the red sauce. They just kind of, mm, with the corn tortillas, I just, um, I don't know. What is my favorite food? Um... Do you know, I like steamed rice and ginger. <laughs> I love ginger. Pickled ginger and steamed rice and soy sauce any day. Sushi, like that. Um, you know, it's like if I have Chinese, I have Pan Express and I do orange flavored chicken, okay? If I go to, if I like Thai, it's got to be Toy on Sunset and it's just the Bangkok Delight. <laughs> you know, I go and I get the same repetitive thing over and over and over again. I don't usually step out of the box. Um, but I don't usually go to toy or Thai restaurants. I will only go to one and that's toy on sunset <laughs> just cause I know I'm not getting a uh, pussy if I eat there. <laughs> so yeah. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um, favorite movie, not in horror genre. Favorite movie. I like Mommy Dearest, and I like One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Describe what you would consider the ultimate date night. What would we be doing? I don't know, because I haven't been on a date in such a long time. <laughs> I've never been on a date in a long time. God, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have an answer to that one shooting <laughs> like not filming but bang bang maybe i don't know i don't know i don't know <laughs> maybe ghost hunting that might be a cool day <laughs> uh 
Um, all right, so Steve Langton, name your all-time top 10 films, horror or otherwise. Oh, my God. That's going to take me, like, 50,000 hours to do. Top 10. Um, I don't know my top 10. I could just name off movies that I like. Um, so that's the way it's going to be because I don't really know what is, like, my ultimate favorite movie of all time and why. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. So, uh, let's see. I like Jaws. I like Jaws. I like The Craft. So Jaws, The Craft, Phantasm, Halloween, the original, Friday the 13th, the original, uh, Rosemary's Baby, the original, Friday Night, Lost Boys, <sighs> Let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't know. I only got eight. Oh my god, this is horrible. This is horrible. Um, and you said horror, right? <laughs> In the horror genre, mm. or otherwise. Okay. Um, <sighs> god, I don't know. I've got eight. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Oh my god, I'm brain dead today. I'm so brain dead, it's not even funny. I like the movie Humongous, but it's like a really tough movie to find. Um, god, I don't know. So that would be nine, and then number ten. I don't want to say Psycho, because that wasn't like, oh my god, I have to see that movie. Um, did I say The Craft already? I don't remember. <laughs> Um, God, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, my God. I so don't know. I don't know. Um, I mean, I guess if you're going to slip out, I like Mommy Dearest. That's, that's, that's like a classic movie. <laughs> Favorite scene? Because I am not one of your fans. And she chokes her out. <laughs> she gets choked out by her mother. <laughs> I love that. Um, let me see. Do you enjoy camping in a haunted location? I've never went camping in my life, and I highly doubt I ever will. <laughs> uh, let's see. How... Okay, and that was by Gary Montoya. <laughs> I've never went camping. Okay, Jeff Brown, how can I get into movies? How can I get into movies? Well, you need to get some good headshots. You need to start networking yourself and not like on Facebook, not on like the social media stuff. You need to like legitly uh, get yourself some pictures. I, I don't know. It's been such a hot minute since I used to. But back in the day, what you, what you, what you did was you did the Backstage West. You submitted to like you submitted to like the shinky dinky films and then you were, you got your feet wet, you know, on set and what it's like to learn a script and do all that and get cast. And then, but you also went to Screen Actors Guild and you got the damn list and you submitted to the agents and you submitted your headshots and out of like 300, th two or three may call. And then out of that, hopefully you'll get an agent that actually submits you. And even if it's a smaller roles, that's fine. You know, nobody... Nobody jumps in and, you know, goes off the ground unless you're sucking somebody's dick. I'm just saying. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah and it took me time. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't easy. Um, but once it started, it actually just continued. And, you know, my thing was I did my first horror film. And then I started getting into the magazine circuit inadvertently. Ma they would contact me to be in the magazines, and then I did a lot of magazines, and then people would come to me for films, like directors and cast, and I think, you know, I've been on a few auditions, which is so nerve-wracking. It's much like a job interview. I cannot stomach auditions. They're horrible, um, but I didn't audition a lot. Like, a lot of people just... You know, these found me in the magazines. They asked me to do a film. We negotiated a fee, and away we went. I've had many agents. I've fired many agents. 
Um, a lot of agents, you know, they, they don't want to submit you to certain things and then you end up like, get you end up getting the part around the agent because they didn't submit you, but you submitted yourself because you found out. So it's a lot of being pushy and aggressive, but not overly aggressive because that's never good, especially with the casting agents. And they are the gatekeeper, like the people that get your headshots, even the, the people at the desk at the, at the uh, agent's office, those are your gatekeepers. And you don't want to be an asshole to anybody on the way up. So, because they will put you in the trash. So it, it's, it's tough. It's, it's not an easy ride. But once you start doing it, you either find out if you like it or you don't. But it's a struggle. Keep your day job because it doesn't happen overnight. <laughs> Keep your day job. Nobody's an instant star unless, again, you're sucking somebody's dick. <laughs> okay. So, Brad Richter, would you ever come to a convention in Cincinnati, Ohio? Of course I would if somebody paid me to do it. Back in the day, I used to do them for free. And, you know, they would give me, like, the table for free. But they wouldn't pay me to be there. Um... Uh, you know, usually I would be with somebody who would, you know, do my plane tickets. I never actually pay for a plane ticket to go to a convention, but I'd end up getting the table for free. Um, and then whatever you make on what you sell is what you keep. Um, but you know what? I'm like too old for that now. <laughs> so I gave, pay me to be there and give me the table and pay for my flight and we're good to go. Um, uh, Calvin Frazier, what is your favorite book on the occult and then some? Oh, my God. I should have been doing this in my bedroom. Oh, Jesus, God. Uh, that one book that I put on the Facebook page, the, the Demonology book, I like that one a lot. Uh, the Goetia is pretty interesting, but it's very complicated. You know, like when you're summoning up the demons, it's very complicated. Uh, but it is a good book. Um, let me see. My favorite one when I first started was To Ride a Silver Broomstick. That was my favorite by Raven Silverwood or Silvermoon. I can't remember her name. I have that book to today and I do I do like the, the stuff. I know it's more Wicca, but I've incorporated that with other workings. And it's, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. Um, I have a bunch of little tiny books that have like lists of herbs and their properties and what they're for. So I like those type of books. Um, I don't know, you know, it, it's, I, I guess the, there was a, there was a magic witchcraft. Hmm. Let me see. There was the magic, magic and witchcraft. And it was a tiny book book that one that one I liked a lot that one I really learned like a lot when first starting out um but to I guess to ride a silver broomstick was my my favorite book of all time and that was my first like real book I mean I had this other one but you know you know, I don't know. I I want to say To Ride a Silver Broomstick was my first real interesting book that I was into. Like, really, like, oh, wow. And, like, the shit, like, worked. <laughs> and that, you know. And then, as a lot of times things that are published is you're never going to get the real deal. You you shouldn't be getting the real deal. Anyways, um, it's kind of like uh, YouTube and just, you know, spells on YouTube. It's like, I'm certainly sure, like, they don't give away all their secrets as they should not. You know, I would love to start doing like spells, but I, I'm not really big on giving away secrets and like putting my stuff out there. You know, I, I'm not really big on that, you know, because I was always taught that you don't give away your secrets and that what you know and the knowledge, you, you have it in a book, it's written down, it's in your mind, but it's not something you put out there and share with others. Um, yeah, I don't know, you know, to each its own, but I, I'm certainly sure that, you know, the full stuff is not actually out there, you know, if that makes any sense. I'm, I'm sure certainly some people that watch this that know what I'm talking about, you certainly will know exactly what I'm talking about when I'm talking about like, like magic and stuff like that. You don't, you don't put everything that you know out there. Um, so with that said, I think I'm done with these questions, which was so cool. I so miss doing the live feeds on Sunday. I would be getting ready right now as it's like 11 o'clock. This was my hour to go live. I miss that. I do miss that. I do miss chatting with you guys. So I don't know. This has just been one of those weird weekends where I'm just kind of like watching my channel and 
and not really seeing a lot of views or growth and I'm like okay maybe I just need to stop doing videos and and not put so many out let people get caught up or maybe people are just not digging like the challenges which I think are totally cool because <laughs> It fucking was real, you know? So, to me, I love making him doing them. But if nobody's watching, what am I doing them for? I'm just kind of bummed. <laughs> I'm so bummed this weekend. So, I don't know. So, I'm probably going to make a taco. I do my little Cinco de Mayo, you know, and try to make some veggie tacos with my two tacos out of the 12 box shells that are valuable. Or say, screw it and go to Taco Bell and just freaking... Buy some fucking tacos <laughs> and have a margarita. Have a mukbang or some shit like that. I don't know. What was that thing called where people get on camera and they eat? I don't know. I don't know. It's all new to me. I'm too old for this. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I love you so, so much with all my heart. I want to thank you. I can't say thank you to my new subscribers because I had some new subscribers that actually, like, unsubscribed, I believe. Um, so to those people... Fuck you, okay? <laughs> Fuck you. So, and have a happy Sunday. <laughs> well, all my OG subscribers that are still on my page, I love you so, so much, and I thank you for being part of this channel. I thank you for being part of this family. Um, I don't know if I can get, if I can, I mean, I don't know. Facebook is so conflicting. I need to, like, put Phoenix on as administrator to my uh, Enchanted Witch uh, page on my Facebook and then just call it a day and maybe disable my Facebook. And then if people want me, you got to find me on here. And maybe that'll stop all the bullshit because a lot of people just keep coming onto my Facebook page, but they're not like, they're not like coming on here. So if you want to, you want to associate with me, you know, real, realistically and the reality is you got to come on here. Like I'm not going to, I'm not going to enchant you. I'm not going to I'm not going to entertain you if you're not connected to my YouTube channel. So, sorry, Charlie. I know I sound like a bitch this weekend, but I'm kind of pissed off this weekend. I'm, I'm not going to lie. So, I'm trying to be cheery. I got my orange. I got my orange dress. I'm trying to be lighthearted. <sighs> But I'm on such a low vibration this weekend. It's a good time to do some dark magic on somebody's ass. So whoever's pissing me off out there, just be warned. Be warned. Be warned. And there's a few motherfuckers in my list. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I love you so much. Thank you. Like this video. Comment down below. Uh, maybe, maybe what I'll do is, if I shut down my Facebook page, which I'm seriously thinking about shutting that shit down, um, just, you know, disabling it, not closing it forever and losing all that, that I have. But if I disable that, maybe I'll make videos and then you can leave comments with your questions on that, which I can pull up on here and do it that way. If, if, you know, that way I'm not like putting my energy because, you know, and again, it might be just Facebook and sometimes Facebook just drains you of all your energy and just like, uh, it's like so boring and I'm so done. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just in one of those moods. I've been in that mood all weekend. I guess don't really want to be bothered. I'm just like, fuck. I'm so irritated. Anyways, I love you guys with all my heart. Thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe if you're watching this video and you're not yet subscribed. And don't unsubscribe because that fucks everything up on my channel. So like, if you're gonna if you're gonna be subscribed. Either stay on and watch the videos or don't even bother to subscribe, all right? I'm just saying. If you want to subscribe, either smash my face in the left-hand corner or smash the hell out of the fucking subscribe button down below. Okay, bitches? I love you so much. And until the next time, peace.